I'm going to start this lesson with the mass chaos file that we used in the last segment already open. If you don't have it open, just go to File, Open, navigate to the Exercise Files folder, and you'll find the masschaos.max file inside the Chapter 3 folder. Once you're there, we're ready to rock and roll. Now, we're going to be talking about freezing and hiding. These are two concepts that I use all the time in Max. Now, these are overlooked by a lot of users, but freezing and hiding helps me all the time as I'm organizing my scene and trying to work as efficiently as possible. Let's first talk about freezing. All we have to do to freeze something is right click on it after we select it and select freeze selection. So I'm going to freeze that purple tube and I'm going to freeze this blue sphere. Notice that they turn gray when they're frozen. So you might be asking, well, why would I want to freeze something if it turns gray? Well, the gray color is only temporary while it's frozen. And we'll talk about how to fix that in just a minute. But now that these objects are frozen, they're just that. They are frozen. We cannot select them. We cannot alter or transform them or modify them in any way. This comes in real handy as you make more complex scenes that have a lot of objects very close together. Let's say, for example, you have a water bottle that you're trying to animate. Well, you'll have the plastic bottle and you'll also have the object that you're using as water. Well, as you're trying to select the water that's inside the bottle, you're often going to select the bottle and you're not going to want to do that. So if you freeze the bottle, then it'll make it so that every time you click in the water area, you won't accidentally select the bottle. Again, I use this all over the place all the time. So freezing is great, but how do we unfreeze? Well, we could right click and simply hit unfreeze all. But what if we don't want to unfreeze all? We pretty much only have two choices in this freeze section here. We could freeze something that's selected or we could unfreeze everything in our scene. But what if we just wanted to unfreeze the tube? To do that, we'll need to go over to the command panel and select the display tab. Scroll down through the display tab and you'll see an area that's already actually collapsed that we'll need to hit this plus and expand that gives us all sorts of freeze options. If we have an object selected, we can freeze it by hitting this button, or we could freeze everything that's unselected, we could freeze by name, or we can freeze by hit. And freezing by hit or doing anything by hit is really fun. Basically all that means is that when you select this button, whatever you click on or hit with your mouse will become frozen. So I freeze you, and I freeze you, and I freeze you. <laughs> Under our freeze options, we also have unfreeze options. Of course, we could unfreeze all. And we could also unfreeze by name or unfreeze by hit. So I thaw you, and thaw you, and you, and you. <laughs> now again, I love freezing, but one of the things I don't like is this gray color. It's trying to help me out by turning it gray so that I know that it's frozen, and sometimes that can be helpful. But a lot of times I still like to see the original color of my object as I'm working with frozen objects. So I'm going to click the selection tool. And the way that we change the default behavior for frozen objects that turn to gray is by right clicking on an object. Actually, first we have to select it. Let's click on this blue sphere. Right click on it. Now we can go down to object properties. If you don't have something selected, well then you can't go to its properties because there's nothing to propertize. <laughs> because then there's nothing to adjust the properties of. So I'm going to select Object Properties, and under the General tab, right here by default, Show Frozen in Gray by default is checked. Simply click it to uncheck that. Now if I right click and freeze this blue sphere, it will remain frozen and blue. Another cool thing about freezing, just to store away in the memory banks for later, is that when you freeze a light, it doesn't turn it off. That's pretty sweet. Now, akin to freezing is hiding. If we want to get rid of this pink sphere, not delete it. If we want to delete it, then we hit the delete key. But if we want to just temporarily hide it, then we can right click on it. And we have a few more options here built into the right click menu than we did for freezing. We could hide this selection. Or if we want to work on just this object and nothing else in our scene at the time, we can click hide unselected. So every object but this one will be hidden. This is great for working on characters that are already in a very complex scene and any one of a number of uses. And then once we have something hidden, we could hit unhide all 
or we could hit unhide by name. This is a neat little feature. So I'm just going to hide this selection. And then once I right click, I don't have to have anything selected to do this, but I can just hit unhide by name. And there we go. There are my hidden objects, only one, just a sphere. And in the unhide dialog box, we'll see a lot of the same things that we saw in the select by name dialog. We'll have the all, none, and invert, and all, none, and invert here under list types. We don't really need to fiddle with all that now, though, because we only have one hidden object. Just hit unhide, and it's unhidden. Okay, folks, so we got the interface stuff out of the way. We got the display and navigation stuff out of the way. It's time to now start making magic in Max.